In this video, I'm going to be soldering together the Christmas tree. And to do that, I need some resistors, some capacitors, some AT tinies, and some LEDs. I'm going to start with the resistors. So the first step in this is actually to break apart very carefully the PCB. And then to remove these tiny extra mouse bites. And for that, I need pliers, which I don't happen to have. I'm traveling, but you get the idea. Okay. So I break it into the following three pieces. And I don't break this part because it's easier to assemble later when this isn't broken. And the first thing that I notice is that all of these white parts are actually where the resistors go. And on each component, there's one side that has extra resistor pairs. So in this case, it's these two, these two, these two, and on the other side, these two. We don't populate those because they are actually to add power to these pads if we want to add a star later. But if we're not gonna add a star, we don't add resistors there. If you do go ahead and add resistors on these, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have both of these resistors connect from your positive side of your power supply to your negative side of your power supply. And that will either reduce how long your batteries last or increase the amount of energy that a USB power supply needs to consume. You wouldn't really notice that it's a problem just by looking at it, but you can check it with a multimeter. Okay, so I'm going to begin by adding a small amount of solder to one side of each pad pair for each of the resistors. And then I open up my resistors. And I place them on the PCB. And in this case, I'm going to place them white side up so that the ornaments look white. It doesn't actually electrically matter which side is up. Here I accidentally added solder to both sides of the pad. I'm just going to remove a little bit with my soldering iron so that I can easily add the resistor. So then the next thing to do is to add capacitors to the side that I already added the resistors to. And 
Okay, and then I start populating the LEDs on the side that has the resistors and the capacitors. In this case, these are the red LEDs. And I'm gonna add all the red LEDs to the horizontal LED spots. And the one that has the resistor on the top gets a red one. The other two, so these two, are gonna be white. So I'll leave those empty. I'm gonna open this up carefully. Make a small pile of LEDs. And then I'm gonna add a little solder to each one of the pad pairs that will get a red LED. And then I make sure the marking, so you can see this tiny triangle, I make sure that the marking has the arrow pointing towards the trunk of the tree for each of the LEDs. or towards the ground, I guess, not really the trunk of the tree. Okay, so now that I have the red LEDs soldered on all of the Christmas tree parts, well, on the front side or one side of all the Christmas tree parts, I add the white LEDs. And these have a different marking. It has a T on it. And the T needs to match the T here with the um, sort of markings kissing each other. And in this case, I'm gonna begin with this guy. So all of the horizontal LEDs get a white LED, plus these two get a white LED. So I'm just gonna go ahead and begin soldering.
Okay, now that I have one side soldered on all of these guys, I go ahead and I flip them over and solder all the components on the other side.
Okay. Now that I have both sides completely populated with resistors, LEDs, um, and the capacitors, I can go ahead and add the tiny to these four spots. I also, before I do that, want to make sure that I soldered all of these correctly. So I'm just going to look at each LED and make sure that both sides of the pads are soldered because once it's in this form, it's much harder to solder or to fix anything. So now that that's checked, I'm just going to add the tinies. And there was a misprint on some of these. So these are correct where you can read tiny and there's a star. These ones, it was misprinted and you can see just the Y from the tiny. In any case, this is where pin one goes. So this star needs to match where the pink dot is on these microcontrollers. Add the microcontroller by adding a little bit of solder to one pin and then I make sure it's you know soldered on there with that one pin and then I check the alignment so that these pads and these little arms on the microcontroller make a good alignment for all of them and in this case they do so then I solder the opposite corner Make sure it has a good connection. And then just go ahead and solder all the corners and then work on the mid or the middle parts. this is not the best tip for this application and in this case I have um, bridged these two pins so I'm gonna have to unsolder them so I just need to melt them both at the same time and sort of drag a little bit of solder off of the pads until they're no longer bridged so this pad still has way too much solder on it so one thing I can do is just melt it a little bit and sort of tap it on the table and a bunch comes off. And then I solder the other side. And then that microcontroller is on there. And I do that for the other three. This one I already added solder to pin one, which is the same one where the dot is. I uh, go ahead and I align it. Okay. 
So pin one is soldered, so it's stuck on the board. Then I check the alignment. And in this case, it's not a good alignment, so I need to redo it. And this is why I solder only one pin, because it's easier to move it. Okay, so it's stuck on there. That alignment is good. So then I focus on these. So pins eight through five, starting with this corner. Check it. And I'm gonna just touch it up because there's solder on all the pins, but it doesn't look great. And it's important that this contact is really good. And then again, pin one. And then I reflow the solder. Then I let go. And then I need to readjust that. Seems like it'll work. So then I just add a little bit of solder to this pin. Clean my tip. Touch up these pins. solder but it's not a great contact so I'm just going to heat it up a little bit more. Make sure that the solder reflows correctly. Okay and then the last tiny goes on this. Then I check it, and that's aligned.
Uh, my camera just cut out, so I'm not sure if I just got that part of the video. But basically what I was saying is that if you want to add a star to this part of the tree, then you need to take one of these two smaller pieces, which become this part, and populate the two resistors. And this will make it so that this side has five volts or ground, and then this side has the other. So you can take a through hole um, LED and just stick it on the top and solder it. And you wanna pick these, one of these two, because these small holes sometimes fill up with solder when you make these joints, and there aren't any holes. So this way, if you pick one of these two, you won't accidentally connect five volts and ground via two resistors. And you only need to do that once, so basically for one of these two branches, um, because the star just goes on the top. Okay, so I populated these two resistors. In case the video didn't catch it, that's why these two are populated. These two are empty. Um, these two are empty. And these two are empty because we only need five volts and ground on one side. Okay, so now that I have everything soldered except five volts and ground, I need to actually turn this into a three-dimensional object. So to do that, this is the trickiest part. I add some solder. to one of these parts. And I add some solder to the matching branch on this side. And then I hold this as accurately as I can in the correct location. And then I just take my soldering iron and I reflow that liquid solder. And then I hold it there until it cools and I check to see if it's at a right angle. So we want it to be at a right angle this way. And I check to make sure that it's level. So you you basically don't want it to be like this or like this. You need it to be really level. Um, and this seems like it turned out quite okay. Um, it seems like the top is a little bit cattywampus, so I'm going to add a little bit of solder over here and try and bend it to the correct location. As these are a little bit flexible. You can kind of see it bend a little bit. So I just add some solder here. And these connections are actually ground and um, basically positive and negative voltage or whatever. The, each side of the power source will be connected. These two connections, I believe, are ground, and this one is the positive voltage. And that's how you only need one power source to power everybody. And then one side of these will be the positive side for the LED tree topper, and the other side will be negative if you chose to populate two of the resistors. So then this seems pretty good. I'm going to just check it one more time. I think it can move over just a little bit. So I'll remelt this. And this part can move over just a little bit. So I'm going to remelt it as well. Okay, 
And now that I have two sides done, I just go ahead and I do all of them so that they have a good electrical connection between each PCB. Also a good mechanical connection between each PCB. Okay, and then this is the really hard part because I have to do the same thing again, only this time, nothing lies flat. So I add a little bit of solder there. I add a little bit there. Then I melt it, and I check that it's a right angle, it's a little bit off. And that's good enough for me. And then I go ahead, and since I soldered this one that time, I'm going to solder one up here on the corner this time. Check to make sure the alignment is good. And then go ahead and solder all the other connectors. Okay, so then the last thing to do, since this is the one that's populated with the two resistors, I just go ahead and I solder that. And I solder that. And then the through hole LED will go over this. And the last step is to go get some kind of power supply. So I'll be right back. So the last thing to do once you've soldered the whole tree together is to add a power supply. And in this case, I'm using three AAA batteries. So the ground wire goes in this hole. And for me, this is the most difficult part. volt goes on this or in this hole
And then once these two are soldered, you turn it on and all the LEDs should light up and then they should begin to blink randomly. And to check that all the LEDs are actually soldered correctly, just keep turning it on and then turn it, check that all of them light up, turn it, and so on. And in this case, this LED isn't turning on, so I just patch it up. And so on. So that's how you build the Christmas tree. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Happy holidays.